Ellie, you gonna say good morning to everybody? You gonna say good morning? We got a lot of snow yesterday, finally. It's actually like the big snow of the season. We haven't had that much. So yeah, it's pretty, but it was 60 degrees the other day, so I'm honestly just like ready for spring. Okay, time for our weekly What Sold video. If you are new here, thank you for coming to my channel. I do these videos every Friday. I let you know what sold for me this past week over the various platforms that I sell on. My name is Heather and I'm a full-time reseller. If you are a reseller, subscribe down below. I do put out three videos a week. Ryan and I got our two designer boxes from ThreadUp. So that video might be coming out on Sunday if I can find some time to film with him either today or possibly tomorrow. So make sure you come back for that. If you didn't watch my last one, I'll link it. It was really good. <laughs> so we'll see about these ones. I'm excited to open them, but I always just like have low expectations because I definitely gotten some boxes that were just like, okay. All right, we're gonna go into what sold. My sales, I feel like were very up and down. Midweek, they were like slow um, on eBay, Poshmark, everywhere. So I really hope that they are good this weekend to kind of make up for the slow sales during the week, which is typically what happens. They usually make good sales starting Friday, I think when people get their paychecks. So hopefully that is gonna happen this weekend. I am gonna be pretty busy tomorrow. I am taking some boys from my team, my volleyball team that I coach up to watch a men's college game. So the closest school around us that has that is around two hours away, a little over two hours. It's, well, we found a Christian college in Iowa. So we're gonna go watch them tomorrow, which means I'll be out of the house a lot. So I've been working this week on doing five extra listings a day. That way I can still get up my listings on Saturday, but I don't have to take the time to do all of that. So I've still been doing really good with like listing daily. I think that's really important, um, especially on eBay. Let's just get right into the sales. I do have a few Facebook marketplace sales to talk about. I sold this Lauren Rob Lauren blue shirt. This was a linen shirt and it sold for $24. Next was a cool top K U H L. This is like an outdoor brand. This was a blue long sleeve, like checkered plaid top that sold for $20. Next was a cabbie camo pullover sweater. This was red long sleeve size small that sold for $28.80. And then I sold these Allegria Deborah clogs. These were in a size four and a half women. So very tiny feet. I didn't realize that when I picked them up, but they did still sell for $24. So happy about that. That's my few Facebook marketplace sales. Better than nothing, although yesterday I was having some issues when I was listing. I talked to some other sellers on Instagram and they said they were having the same problem. So it was like, I could go through and put in all my item specifics and everything, but when I got to the part where I could choose like local and shipping, it was just grayed out and I couldn't do anything and I couldn't complete my listing. So I was doing it from my computer. Some people said they were just saving a draft there and then completing it from their phone on their app. I didn't try that, so maybe I'll try that today if I'm still having issues, or hopefully they'll just get it fixed. Okay, we are going to go on to Mercari next. I sold this Kate Spade shirt. I don't know if this was in last week's, because it says I sold it on February 12th, but I feel like sometimes these dates are like off on Mercari. I don't know. Anyway, it was a blue seahorse print top. I sold it for $27 very quickly. Both of those Tony Llama boots, if you watched one of my most recent hauls, I got those from a St. Vincent de Paul and they both sold very quickly. One pair sold here on Mercari for $65. They were men's. I sold these Levi's black festival shorts, size 29 for $19. Next was a Skims like body shaper. It was a size 2X black and it kind of had like a full body suit, but with the shorts. So that sold for 41. And then I sold the Zaya Active gray sports bra in a size large for 23. Next was an Under Armour purple cold gear top. This surprisingly sold for 19. I know that's not a lot, but sometimes I have trouble selling that brand. That came in a Thread Up Rescue box that was the activewear box, I think. Um, and then I sold this Desigual sleeveless dress. This was an extra, extra large. Sold that for $29. I sold a Skims waist trainer for $35 and a Skims bandeau bra for $25. I did go back to that thrift store this week and I found some more Skims. I don't know, it's just like, wow. So I did go ahead and get not everything this time 
because now I've had some experience with selling some stuff. So I left behind used most of the used things um, and most of the waist trainers that were in a small size. I'm still selling some of them. Like you'll see I have an eBay sale for one that's like a really um, very tiny size. But in my experience, the bigger sizes are selling more. So I did just pick up the new with tags items, except for one thing I think they had priced too high, but otherwise it was still all the same prices. So that's great. Okay, let's go on to Poshmark. I actually just had a sale come through that's great. It was a pair of Timberland boots. These were military lace-up style boots and they sold for $60. I think these might've came in a flip lot, so I'm gonna have to go back through my clients lots and mark those. Usually on Fridays is when I send my payouts to people. So that's great. Another Skims sale. These were some slippers. I did find these in the same day that I found all of the lingerie the first time where I like totally loaded up. These were in a size nine and they sold for $60. They were not new with tags. So that's amazing. Next is a pair of Sam Edelman boots. These were the petty style brown ankle boots and they sold for $23. I sold this Intimately Free People brown lingerie slip dress for $24. Next was a pair of Athleta leggings or pants. These were the Headlands Hybrid Moto pants in a size two. They sold for $23. I sold these Sam Edelman sneakers for $12. I've had these for a long time. I don't remember if I picked these up or if they came in a thread up shoe rescue box because I feel like I wouldn't have picked these up to sell. Um, they sold for 12, so I'm glad to finally move those. This next brand surprised me. So the brand is Maggie London. I never have picked this up to resale. I never even gave it any thought. It did come in a flip lot, so I had to list it. And it sold within a week for $24. I know that's not a ton, but I sell things all the time in that price range. Like that's good bread and butter. It wasn't a size 16. So if I find this brand in a bigger size with a good price, maybe I will think about it more. Let me know down below if you've ever sold that brand before. I sold this Lululemon run pace setter skirt. This was new with tags and it sold for $60. Hunter rain boots. These were short black matte pull on. These came in a flip lot. They sold for $60. Next is a pair of beta brand pants. I have sold beta brand really quickly the last few times I had them. These were a skinny stretch style size large and they sold for $24. I sold these Steve Madden Espadrille sandal platform shoes. These came in a thread up shoe rescue box a while back and they sold for 20. Next was another waist trainer corset. This was not a size medium and this one sold for $45. I have already hit where I have made my money back on all that skim. So everything else is profit. So depending on the item, I am just taking a lot of offers. Like I think I sold one this week for 25 and then I sold this one for 45. So, okay, next a pair of Viore pants. Viore is a good bolo brand to be on the lookout for. These were men's. These came in a flip lot. They were a size 30 and they sold for $43. I sold these Verba Verbanas, Verbanas. I don't even know how to pronounce this. It was a pink suede espadrille flat. I think I looked them up because they were made in Spain or something like that when I originally found them. They sold for my full asking price of $35. Next is a pair of cabby pants. These were called the Style Cafe Lounger and they sold for 18. I sold these Sonia Rykel Spell Out Low Pumps for $14. I think those came in a thread up rescue box a while back. And that brand actually is really expensive, but I don't think it resells that good. So glad to move those. These Athleta shorts sold really quickly. They were navy blue and linen, and they sold for $24. Next was a pair of Shoots Heels. This brand came to me in a flip lot, and they sold for $25. I sold this Affliction shirt from The Bins very quickly. Affliction Men's shirts with like the big graphics do well it didn't have a size it didn't have material i just estimated and it sold for 33 dollars super quick so glad about that unless you want to pop in and talk about your good sales oh. you could come talk about your two fast sales oh, he's way too tired okay next i sold um, a pair of target sandals which i don't usually get but these came in a thread up shoe rescue box and they sold for 14 dollars I sold these Keen sandals super quickly. They were women's size 10, closed toed, and they sold for 30. I sold a bundle of five items for $75. Some of them I've had for quite a while. So a pair of Free People Movement leggings, Free People Beach open back top, Athleta purple tank top, Fabletics black tank top, Levi's 501 shorts, 
and Lululemon striped waistband capri. So that was great for a bundle sale. I think I had one more this week. Next was an Anthropology HD in Paris floral top. This only sold for $8. I've had it forever. I don't really hardly ever pick up that brand anymore just because it doesn't sell that well for me. Here's my other bundle. It's two items for $40. Um, one was a Kiana one piece plus size swimsuit. I've never heard of that brand, but comps were pretty decent. And then a Cacique bra and a size 42D. So that was a great bundle sale. Next was a Skims Fits Everybody thong. This was in a size small and it sold for 17. Equipment Femme Leopard Animal Print Button Up Small Silk Top sold for 40. I sold these Princess Polly jeans for $21. Pretty decent price, but they did sit for quite a while, so I don't know if I would keep selling that brand. I've never really sold it before. Um, these Dansko Matilda Mary Jane shoes sold for $18. Coach Medium Black Kristen Signature Print Crossbody Purse. That came in a Thread Up Rescue Box, sold for $35. Next was an Athleta Tank Top for $9. I don't know. I think I've just had that for a while. Here's the other pair of Tony Llama boots. These ones sold for $56. Um, again, men's size 9. And then the last thing on Poshmark were these Abercrombie & Fitch jeans in a size 0. They sold for $12. I've been trying to use my Posh or VA relist and delist 50 items every day. That's just what they suggest. And I do think it's helping me move some of my older items. So that's good. I did have, again, one Depop sale this week. So I know I said I was going to like possibly stop doing it. But now I've made a couple of sales. So... Maybe I'll keep it on. It was a pair of Dansko shoes. And now I'm having a hard time remembering what they sold for. You can see it's just like showing sold. If you can't see that. Over the price. And I don't remember what it was. But it says I'm gonna my profit's going to be $30.49. That's after the free shipping that I offer. Oh, I think it's for $50. So after their fees and everything, I'm getting $30.49. So that's good. Let's do eBay last. Okay, first thing on eBay, Under Armour Men's Lightweight Golf Shorts sold for $15. Um, this was a Skims Waist Trainer in a size extra, extra small. That sold for $25. Next was a Raquel Allegra Pink Tie-Dye Ruffle Long Sleeve Sweatshirt sold for $25. This Anthropology sweater sold super quickly. It wasn't a size extra large. It was the brand Saturday Sunday, and it came out of Flip Lot. That sold for $28. Via promoted listing, it says, but they might have also used a 20% off coupon, which I have right now in my store that people can use. So I'm not exactly sure, but either way, it sold very quickly. Athleta leggings. These were the contender leggings, crop capri. I think I had these in two sizes, and they are not doing good. I've had them for a really long time. These ones sold for 12 I do still have a 50% off sale on, I think, items that I've had for like nine months or more. Um, and I think that's where that came from. So that's good. Next was a Catherine's bra. This was a size 52 double D. It sold for $16. This Skims Fits Everybody Scoop Bralette sold super quickly. This was one of the new ones that I picked up this week and that sold for 30. Same with this next pink thong. This was in a size small and that sold for 15. I sold this Free People handkerchief dress very quickly from a flip lot for $24. Next was a Chico's Yellow Linen Casual Top, sold for $12.94. J. Crew Quilted Puffer Camo Vest, sold for $12.44. I just see this long message that the person sent me. Please ship as soon as possible. I'm leaving in two weeks for a cross-country vacation. And I hoped to get it delivered by the morning of that day. Okay, I shipped it right away. I ship every day. Um, I think it helps with the algorithm and in your search on eBay. Plus, why not give good customer service to the buyers? That sold for $12.44 anyway. I've had that for a stupid long time. I don't do good with J. Crew Puffer Vest. Next was two Zaya Active leggings for $36.14. One was a size 2, one was a size 4, and they were both crop leggings. Those ones don't do as good for me. But they still sell decent, so if I find them for cheap, I'll pick them up. Um, next, a pair of Fry Boots. These came in a flip lot. They were a short pair of Carson boots, and they sold for $45. I sold a Skims Mesh Triangle Bralette in a size large for $27. Eileen Fisher Black Petite Small Knit Cardigans only sold for $13. I've had that again for a really long time. I don't do as good with that brand in smaller sizes, so I usually, at least lately, I'm trying to be like more picky with it. 
and get like the larger sizes, you're gonna see another Eileen Fisher sale coming up, but it's way better. Next we're a pair of Nike golf shorts. These were in a size two, dark gray, and they sold for 13. Athleta joggers, size six tall. These were blue camo, high rise, and they sold for $30. Next was a pair of Spanx. These sold very quickly. These were a pair of leggings, size medium. Kind of more like a, not like a faux leather kind of look like some of theirs, but it was just like more like a soft knit kind of look. Two bowls of oatmeal? <laughs> That's okay, you can have two bowls. Hope you like them. Bye, Ryan. Bye. <laughs> He's tired. Okay, American Eagle Highest Rise 90s Boyfriend Jeans, size 14, sold for $20. This brand is not doing that great. I feel like for a little while I could sell them pretty decent. Now, not so much. So I don't know what's going on with that. Lauren Ralph Lauren 1X Pink Floral Shirt, sold for 20. Universal Standard Bolo Brand. These were a size 14, 16 pants, brown. They were new with tags and they sold for $50. Next was a Bryn Walker tank top. Sold very quickly for $25. This was linen. I use the words lag and look a lot when I'm listing this brand. Oversized, relaxed, so that was great. I sold this Skims stretch satin dip thong and a size extra large for $14. Eileen Fisher sweater, extra large merino wool cardigan. This one sold for $55. Full asking price. I, actually, I think they might've used a 20% off coupon, but it was like not any kind of offer that I sent them. It sold super, super quickly too, like I think within minutes. So that's amazing. Cabby Explorer Utility Vest, size small, sold for $20. Lululemon Gray Relaxed Tank Top with built-in bra, sold for $15. Vineyard Vines Seersucker High-Waisted Pants, size 12, sold for $27. J. Crew Blazer Houndstooth Dark Academia. I knew this would sell well. It sold for $41. So some of the J. Crew Blazers, I will pick them up no matter what the age, if they are a good style. So... I'm looking for like the schoolboy blazers do well. These like plaid kind of ones do well. Some of the linen ones, so it just kind of depends. But yeah, that one sold super quickly and it was a international sale. Um, I sold these Disney overalls super quickly. I found these at the bins last week and they were a size small. They sold for $40. Next was an icebreaker shirt. This is another Bolo brand to be on the lookout for. It always sells quickly for me. This one was no exception and it sold for $35. Next were a pair of Spanx shorts, like shapewear, maybe thigh shapers. This was in a size three X and it sold for $16. Skims, a black shine scrunchy scoop bralette, sold for 23. Next was a J. Crew navy blue wedding formal dress. This was new with tags, J. Crew collection, I think. And it was from a flip lot, it sold for $33.75. Next was a pair of Judy blue jeans. These were in a size 16 W. And they were skinny, but skinny does better for me in the plus size. I just noticed recently, this was a $45 sale with a 20% off coupon. And then the last day were these pair of pink Victoria's Secret crisscross leggings. These were size extra large. I got them at the bin to try them out and they sold pretty quickly for $17. So that is my sale guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that your sales are good this weekend. Make sure if you haven't yet subscribe, come back on Sunday for that Thread Up Rescue Box unboxing and I'll see you guys again.